Hi, everyone. Back in 2019, when I started my first shop, I was working in a much smaller space. I was working out of a one-car garage. It was an older shop. It had no insulation. It had no climate control. And one of the things I noticed right away was that everything I was doing in my shop was creating a lot of dust and particulate and putting it into the air, it would get all over the place. You couldn't miss it. I could basically take my finger, wipe across any surface after I was done working and find dust particles all over the place, really fine dust. The kind of stuff that you definitely don't want to be breathing in. And at the time, we were already looking for another place to live. And I knew I wasn't going to be staying in that shop forever. So I didn't want to put a whole lot of money into the really expensive filtration systems and things that you can do in a shop because I wasn't intending to stay there. But I still needed a solution that would work for me so that I wasn't breathing all that stuff in. So I started doing a little research and I found that there were these things called positive pressure masks. The problem was they were extremely expensive. The ones that I started looking into early on, they were in the thousands of dollars and they were mostly being used in industry, bigger manufacturing, and not so much for the home worker or shop guy working out of his own shop. And I needed a solution that was comfortable, that I was going to wear, because quite frankly, if it's not comfortable and you're miserable wearing it, it's no fun to work with it on and you're not going to use it. I also didn't want to go without anything because I didn't want to, you know, down the road find out that I damaged or hurt my lungs breathing in a bunch of stuff that I shouldn't be breathing. I started looking for solutions and for a long time I just fell on the old regular mask that we get from just about any hardware store. That was the first solution that I came with. But even those became really uncomfortable and there's things about those that you have to be concerned with. I've had a beard now for several years. With any of those types of masks you need a really good fit and you need to make sure that that rubber seal is around your mask. Well, those of us that have beards know it can be hard to sometimes get a really good rubber seal around facial hair. And I was always concerned with those that I might be breathing in some stuff that's getting in and getting around that rubber seal. So I started looking for other solutions. A positive pressure mask came on the market that I could afford and I purchased it but the very first one I got, I honestly, I wasn't thrilled about that either. I kept it and I used it because it was about the only one out there that I felt was affordable. But there was a few things that jumped out to me right away, even in their own manufacturing and specs that I didn't like. One, the filters were really tiny and they weren't even NIOSH approved. Protective shield in the front didn't have quite the level of protection for things hitting it that I wanted it to have, but it was better than nothing. But I was always concerned because in my shop, you can see I have grinders, I have buffers, I'm cutting wood, I'm polishing things. I have lasers, I do laser engraving, and now I'm even doing 3D printing and all these things create a ton of dust. I was still concerned, is this thing really affording me the level of protection that I want it to have? And I was always a little concerned about that. And I've had this for about two weeks now and I will tell you this is really great. I am so happy with what they did here and I'm just going to kind of quickly point out to you the improvements over the other things that I have seen on the market. The number one thing is putting it on. The first thing you notice is its comfort. So the first thing that jumps out at me is it's much more comfortable, a lot more. It doesn't feel as heavy. It's very well balanced, extremely well balanced. Previous helmets that I had used, when you put them on, the first thing you notice is most of them were extremely top heavy. You would tilt your head to one side or the other and sometimes the thing literally felt like it was gonna fall off your head. You're having to like, strain your neck if you went to like lean over or pick up a tool or get something you you would immediately notice 
that you had this thing on your head and it was almost two pounds on your head that wasn't well balanced in my opinion. The other thing that I noticed was that after a long period of time, I was ready just to get the thing off of my head. So the other thing I wasn't thrilled about it was they had a protective piece that they wanted you to attach to the front of the shield to protect it from things hitting it. The problem I had with it was I found when I had that on, it greatly reduced my ability to see. I already wear glasses, so when I had that on, I felt like I was trying to look through three things. So I had, you know, my acrylic glasses, the shield, and then a protective piece in front of it. And it was like, I literally felt like I couldn't see stuff. And I do a lot of sharpening and fine working on metal, things where I really need to be able to see well. And I never felt that I could see really great with that particular shield especially with those extra protective pieces that they gave you that you could put on the front. Now, like those helmets, this one does come with optional additional protection that you can add to the front of this to keep your original face shield protected. But the great thing about this one is I found its clarity to be far superior to the other helmet that I had. For me, I'm not a huge fan of any of these extra added protection, but it is there and it's nice to be able to add this if you're gonna be doing something that you think might have the potential of damaging your original protective shield that goes in the front. My other big area of concern were the filters on my other one. It had little tiny filters and as I mentioned, they weren't NIOSH approved. This one, has really big filters. And let me show you these. Look at the size of that filter. So this is the entire filter for this mask. And it even has a nice mesh coating in front of this filter. They do recommend that you don't blow these out, blow any high pressure air through these. If they get filled in the front, you just tap it out but they're very easy to put in. So you just line this up, make sure your shield is under this lip, and then you push and you'll hear it click into place. Very simple to put on and take off these filters. And you can see this has a very large surface area that you are being filtered through. The other really interesting thing that I noticed right away with this helmet was that you get a very nice blast of cool air that seems to be directed right in your mouth region. And you can see they've kind of designed a foam venting system that forces that air right down into here. Now, the other helmet that I had, it forced the hot air out the bottom and it had holes in the hood. That always concerned me because any type of hole is also always a potential for something to come in. If the helmet's operating properly and at the right pressure and the filters are working correctly, then it should be fine. The way that you had to check that was by taking a little ball valve that you would put on the helmet every so often to see if it had the level of filtration it was supposed to have. What I love about the Microclimate Air 3 is it has a built-in sensor. If these filters, and if they're not working at the level that they're supposed to, you will get an alarm to let you know that it's not filtering properly and you can check it. So it has a low filtration alarm. So if you wanna be sure your low flow sensor is working, you can turn your helmet on and cover this vent back here. And that's how you can be sure it's working. So if you're not getting good air filtration, this helmet will let you know while you're wearing it. It won't be something that you will have to hope is working properly. It's actually checking it while you're wearing it. And that's a really nice added feature. The other thing I thought was really neat about this helmet, filters in your clean air and exhausts the old air through the same filter. Old air leaves out of the bottom part of this filter in this section, and your clean air is coming in through the top up here. 
as opposed to that other helmet that I told you about where it had holes in your hood and it was expected to blow all of that out the bottom. It's very easy to put on. Once you put it on, you simply snug down this around your neck and it fills up with air like a balloon and you can feel and you know that you have that positive pressure going because this puffs up and you can immediately feel it. If you are looking for a positive pressure mask that's super comfortable to wear, you definitely want to look towards the Microclimate Air 3. Here's a couple other points of things that you should know about this that are really great. The fan, compared to my other one, it's a lot more quiet. I don't want to say you can't hear it, but you can barely hear it. Usually when I have this on, I have noise canceling headphones on anyway. When I have my noise canceling headphones on with this, I'm not hearing anything. It's super quiet. But even without it on, compared to the one that I had in the past, this is a considerably more quiet helmet. A couple other great things I want to point out to you about this helmet. One, you can actually unlock your phone if you have face detection on your phone while you wear this. Most other helmets are masks. You're not going to be able to do that. And it can be a pain if you're ever trying to unlock your phone wearing something like that. I found I have no problem talking on my phone if I have my headphones in wearing this helmet and I don't have to shut off the fan or anything to cut down on the noise. People can hear me without any problems. All right, so I just finished like my first session of working with the Microclimate Air Helmet. And I gotta say, I I'm impressed. This thing was great. I was grinding some really rusty stuff. So there you go, there's the front of it. And it's just the, all that orange rust. But yeah, look at that. Look at all that stuff coming off. If you have concerns about fine particulate and dust in your shop and you're looking for an easy solution that's comfortable to wear, easy to charge, and has all the safety features you could want in something like this, look to the Microclimate Air 3. You will be really thrilled with this product. The Microclimate Air 3 just became available on Amazon this week. I'll post a link in the description of this video to where you can buy it. The other place that you can get it, as well as additional accessories for your Microclimate Air 3 is through their website. One other thing I would recommend that it doesn't come with but I would recommend that you pick up is a very nice helmet bag. I got this on Amazon as well. It's basically designed for like football helmets and kids sports helmets, but it fits really great for the Microclimate Air 3 and it was really inexpensive. It's a very nice soft polyester helmet bag that kind of cinches up and this way I don't have to worry about scratching it up or banging it up while it's in the shop not being used. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll talk to you soon.